Residents of the Agege Shiabu Mamponse electoral area in the Ablekuma West municipality are in dire need of proper drains. Work on the construction of a drainage system has been left unattended to for more than eight months after the area was demarcated. Sarah Paku has more. More than 300 houses were demolished along this stretch to pave way for the construction of drains to reduce flooding in the community any time it rains. Hannah Mate, whose house was demolished, says she would have been appeased if the project had been executed. <laughs> I panic any time I pass by the place. I have nowhere to sleep with my grandchildren. Apostle Abednego Ni Ago Bote also had his Divine Foundation Church building demolished in the exercise. We are praying for the government to come and do their thing because we have so mosquito batting us on the area. Mosquito, the thing, I mean, it fits people a lot. Residents claimed all efforts to get the issue resolved have proven futile. The residents are not helping at all, and the assemblyman can't do it all alone. Because we are pleading with Madam Esla Ekufu to come and help the assemblyman. Assembly member for the area, Ni Lante Lamte, says he has plans to have the challenges addressed soon. It is not flowing. The way they did the gutters has been a problem for over 10 to 15 years now. As we speak, the gutters are running to people's homes. In that case, then we have to devise a way whereby we will divert the water into the sea. In so doing that, I have to inform the subcommittee of the assembly, which have already done that before our dissolution of the assembly. And coming back again, I'm going to channel all those grievances through the subcommittee of uh, planning, so that we'll come and then divert the water into the sea. Meanwhile, a 17-member Ablikuma West Municipal Assembly has been inaugurated and Emilia Ajimfra Donko elected presiding member. Municipal Chief Executive George Cyril Bray is confident development will be fast-tracked in the municipality. I hope and I believe that the assemblyman we've gotten this time around will support the course so that at least we will be able to grow the areas. We have a plan. We have a plan that we are supposed to take very extra care, if I can put it that way, of those areas that are quite deprived. All right, so we are staying on this subject matter a while longer. We've been joined in studio by Joseph Kwabna Kofi. He's the assemblyman for the Zodiac Akuko Photo Electoral Area in the Blakema West Municipality. Um, and uh, we'd want to at least put a few questions to him regarding whether or not he faces similar challenges. You've just seen the story gone by. Good evening and thank you for joining us. What are the major challenges of your electoral area? Good evening and uh, I'm pleased to be here. Um, well, um, um, we have similar challenges, and I would say the challenges cut across most of these electoral areas, but um, they are in different degrees. Well, okay. um, um, ours wouldn't be um, as um, our CBA fellow as guys have, 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 have covered, um, and, um, uh, I spoke about, but ours just will have to be um, um, with regards to the drainage systems which have to link the, or to other places, exactly. Mm. So when in times of flooding and stuff like that, you see we have similar challenges where people have to be displaced from their various homes. Um, is so tilapia, I'm, I'm sorry, I beg your pardon, is um, flooding a major issue in your area? Well, it's not. Um, particularly to my lecturer area, I wouldn't say flooding is a bigger issue, but um, once you're getting closer to the coastal areas, you would still have these issues um, aggravating. So Okay. And uh, f from where you sit, what are the immediate plans that you can put in place or you can help put in place to salvage the major issues of um, sanitation, which seem to be a problem across the capital city? 
Well, as it stands now, <clears throat> I believe plans are, are far advanced. That's um, a political language. Every well, uh, <laughs> issue that is got plans are far advanced. But well, if you say far advanced, how do you mean? We want well, uh, I would like to explain it this way, that um, um, before even we were elected to the um, um, assembly, um, we most of us have done them. Um, some of these surveys and we've uh, identified these things and had already lobbied our way through and, and making sure that the municipal would attend to some of these challenges. I think before even and uh, after our election, um, we've had a um, series of occasions where we've taken the engineers for inspections mm -hmm. with regards to what, to be, what are to be done for these places to be developed. Mm -hmm. And I believe... Um, um, as we've moved into the next session of the assembly, um, the engineers have assured us and we know in the quicker, quickest possible time we would attend to some of these things and I, I know residents of Public Mawes will be so good. Have you already started meeting with the other key stakeholders within the municipal uh, uh, area to start proffering solutions to some of your problems or you are yet to start to do that? Well, the assembly was in session today, but um, before then, um, some of us have already, and I know most of my assembly members who who are already, who were inaugurated today had already advanced um, mm -hmm. their negotiations and also with the other stakeholders, and I believe um, these things have been done and mm -hmm. they are far advanced. That's why I'm saying the far, Plus uh, far yeah, exactly, yeah. Okay, Th there's been a debate, um, uh, you know, on issues of payment that assemblymen must be paid from the state coffers, what is your your take on that? Well, I would say it's uh, going for years and no, at the same t uh, also at the same time because um, when they are paid, I think it helps also ease some of the burdens that people um, and direct towards them. Um, and um, sometimes people have their views that assembly it's not a full time. Um, 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 job. Um, uh, job and then for that reason you can be doing some other jobs and uh, whilst you you still stand in an assembly as an assembly member but um, why if the people the electorate are coming to you and asking for money for school yeah. fees and the yeah. rest at least you yeah. should get some form have you already of, uh, started getting that kind of pressure well i as i speak now i have about seven letters on my desk <laughs> waiting for school fees and yeah. uh, I have been appealing to the MC that I, I need the MPs come on fund to quickly. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> we'll have to leave it here for now, but uh, we wish you all the best as you undertake this journey. And um, we hope to be following up on developments, not just in the um, Zodiac Kakokofoto electoral area, but majority of the electoral areas across the country. We'll keep our eyes and ears there to give you updates on what is happening.